everyone. This is Michael from ePapery. Welcome back to the channel. So the first thing I want to do here is um, show you a couple of things um, and tell you what it is that I'm going to try and check off the list that Aaron has. Whoops, got to get the paper towels out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to try to check off Use a window envelope. Use a die cut or cup sh cut shapes by hand. Um, repurpose something. Make a belly band with flat page layout. I'm not quite sure what she meant by that. Or And also make something with a secret writing space. So, boy, that's a lot. That's good because today's the last day, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't make it through all of them, guys. Okay, well, um, first, let's move this to a side. This is the Christmas journal that I'm working on. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, first thing I want to do is show you a few things. Um, and I don't know if I can find this in the book. Uh, when we had a retreat recently, um, my youngest daughter, Allie, and I went. Erin was unable to come. But we made this um, poinsettia tuck spot like that. So, And what I did is I went on to the internet and I looked for free patterns or drawings of a poinsettia. And I found this one that has four layers. So one, two, three and the tiny one, four layers, and then it had a leaf. So I cut it out on um, cardstock, printed it and cut it out on cardstock, and then I used it to trace around um, some paper, and then all I did was just cut it out. So these are all cut out, cut out, excuse me. Ooh. All cut out. And then I used a brad to put them all together so that I didn't have to glue anything down. And then I made some small tags to fit in there. So that's a way of using, you know, cutouts. Um, or if you have a poinsettia die cut, you could use that too. I don't happen to have one. So that was one of the items that I used that we could, you know, cut out. Okay, the next option that I did um, was I found some drawings on the internet. Um, I didn't print them out, but I kind of copied them and, and made templates of them on, the, um, on some cardstock, or this happens to be file folder, in different shapes for ornaments. Now, I kind of hand drew these, but you don't have to do that. You could, you know, find some that you could print out. Okay. And then I just took and traced those around paper. And then I decorated them. And this is a page that I made for my Christmas journal for my great niece. So that's a couple of ways that you can use, you know, cutouts or die cuts, that sort of thing. Um, you can use die cuts to make tucks and um, pockets and all kinds of things or use die cuts to embellish those items. So I'm going to check that one off. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you and um, I didn't do this on camera, but I'll, I'll if I can find what I did with it. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so I um, talking about uh, repurpose something or uh, make something out of junk mail that's not an envelope, I guess, which is on here also. So I'm going to mark that one off also. And I guess repurpose something, you know, do that too. 
Anyway, this is a piece of junk mail that I keep getting in the mail. I have, I get tons of them. And I'm looking at this thinking, well, I ought to be able to do something with this, right? It's kind of neat. So I decided to experiment with it. And I'll show you what I came up with. So um, I decided I wanted to make like a little type folio. So this is what I made. So what you have here, I have a clip on it because my little tab didn't want to stay closed. So I just used a clip and it opens up like this. Okay, so what you have on the front is you have a tag in a corner pocket right here. Okay, now I may do more embellishing than this, I'm not sure. And then you have a pocket here. I love these little Christmas things. Okay, and then you open it up and you have another tag here. You have a writing spot here. Flip it over again and you have another tag here. And a tag on the top. A tag over here. Like this. And then on the back, you have another tag. So there are seven um, spots, pockets in here where you can put a tag. So that is what I did with that little... Oh, Got to get the clip back on here. I'm sorry. Um, with that little Visa advertisement. So that's how you can use those things. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you, um, we will attempt to make together here. Um, hopefully that doesn't take as long as it did the first time I made a video which was, <laughs> took an awful long time to do. But now I can't even find it. It's got to be in here. Okay, let's look at our album. So this is this is um the Christmas journal that I'm making for my great niece. And it's made from a golden book, The Night Before Christmas. Here is the um, Christmas stocking that I made that we have uh, for sale on in the shop. It has a little tag and a spot to stick the candy back in there. So that's that one. So I just started putting things in here the other day. So I haven't gone very far. Here's just a little pocket from Aaron's new kit, which by the way is also out now. It's called Seasons Gleamings. And it's all about, I think the um, ornaments and glitter and stuff that you use at Christmas. Here is also something that is for sale in the shop, but I don't have any Christmas ones out there, but I have regular ones. And this is just a hand crocheted page edging. So that's how you can use that. Hopefully I got this in frame. Okay. And there's, so I just, you know, am just starting. This is what we're going to attempt to make today. So what this is, is a window envelope and a belly band. So there it's, you know, down here it's a belly band. It's a window envelope with the tag, okay? And then it flips open for journaling. So we're gonna attempt to make one here. Hopefully I can do it rather quickly. <laughs> and let's see, did I have anything else in here that, oh, I have some music pockets and um, here's where I made the ornaments and um, there's the poinsettia. And what else? Oh, this is one of those um, pockets that's got a hidden, oh, it's a paper clip, and then it has a hidden journaling spot in it, and then it has um, a tag here and two tags there. So, and that can just clip on the side of a page. Um, here I just took and decorated the music paper. Um, I'm sure you've all seen these pockets previously. This is one of the pockets that's included in our um, book page pocket kit. And this is a um, Christmas tree that Aaron embroidered. Oh, let's see. I don't know if I have a whole lot of anything else in here. Oh, this one. 
Um, this idea I got from uh, uh, D.D. Farago. I think it was D.D., yeah. Um, it's like a waterfall over the page, and it's on both sides. So you have this, this, and this. And the other side is this. you got three pockets on the other side. And you can put it over the top of the page, and then it has journaling space in it, too. So I thought that was quite, you know, useful. Okay. And I think that might be it. Yeah. Other than the fact that I did um, the spine. I left this lace fairly loose so that I can take and stick something in there. Um, a tag or something if I want. So, and that's on both the front and the back. Okay. So hopefully I can get this done one of these days soon. And that's what I did to the spine. I don't have the signature sewn in yet. Once I do, I'm going to put some lace on here also. So, all right. So I'm going to put this aside. And let's see if we can make that uh, belly band flip out pocket. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a window envelope. So I just took one of these window envelopes and I am going to take that and cut it down. Now I want to use this piece of uh, file folder so I'm going to measure it so that I um, know approximately how wide I want this. I don't want it too wide. I don't want the belly band to be too wide. So I'm just going to mark here and I will cut down the envelope. And I'm just going to put it in here, find my spot, and cut the envelope. I don't know, could do something else with that. <laughs> so here, now we have the envelope. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just Cut the bottom and the top of this open just slightly, just a smidge off there, just enough to open it up. Actually, <laughs> I need to check and see how long this can be to, in order to be in my book. Um, well, if I could find the one I originally did. Yeah, it's going to be... Can't tell if I want this on the top or the bottom, but okay. So we're only going to do probably out to there. So we're going to cut it off there. So we're going to cut that off there. So we don't want it, you know, too long, especially since it's going to flip out. Um, Erase my pencil mark off there. Okay, so now what we have is we have this opened up. So now what I'm going to do, um, this one I'm going to make to go in my um, garden collage journal that I've been working on forever. <laughs> and then Christmas came. So, um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this piece of cardstock and stick it in here. And this cardstock is going to be the um, make the pocket on this. So I'm going to cut that down. Oh, the dogs are up there fighting. I'm not fighting, playing. I told my husband I was going downstairs to make a video, so please keep everybody quiet. Well, we can tell how well that worked. <laughs> Grandkids are home from school today for, I don't know, in-service or something. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, so there. So now I have that. So what I want to do here is figure out how I want this on there. Do I want this on the top or do I want it on the bottom? Um, 
you know, I think I'm going to put it on the bottom. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is start by, um, I'm not, um, this film here I could, you know, take out and trace around the window, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to collage around the window. So the first thing I want to do is take this piece, which is going to go in here as the pocket, okay? And I want to put some paper on here that's decorative so that you can see it um, when the tag is out of there. So, uh, oh, I wish this one was long enough, but it's not. So, let's try something else. This, this is such a pretty kit. I really, really like this kit. I think we might just do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to have to do, you know what, I'm not going to bring that paper cutter back up here. I'm going to do this by hand, which is probably not a good idea. <laughs> How crooked can it get? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off these white edges here. And if you haven't seen um, this kit or Aaron's new Christmas kit, go over to the shop and take a look. Um, they're both very pretty. The garden collage has been out for quite a while, but the um, new Christmas one, just uh, we just listed it this weekend, I think. So... So I am going to take one side of this and actually I'm going to glue it. Oh, see, I knew there was going to be something I forgot and that was it, a glue book. So you know what? I'm going to use this because today is the last day for it anyway, right? So I'm going to use this. I think you have a few more days to finish up the projects that you did before Erin's going to um, draw for the prizes. I don't know how many of you um, joined us. I hope some of you did. Okay, so I'm going to just lay this down there. I don't like measuring, so... I'm just going to, somewhere in this mess I had a card, but I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry if I keep knocking you. I just don't seem to be very good at, at uh, not hitting the, or my, the camera is attached to the table, so... If I work too hard at the table, then all of a sudden I've got a problem. So, here we go. Okay. So, as I said, this part is going to be the pocket. So, when I put this in here to form the pocket, when the tag is not in there, you will see this part. Which is okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some plain, um, I would say coffee dyed, but I don't have any right now, um, and um, put it on the back for writing purposes. So again, we will utilize... Okay, come on. The back of this, too. <laughs> I had originally written down all kinds of things I was going to try and do with all these prompts, and of course I didn't 
get around to doing as many as I wanted to. Just too crazy in this household. Okay, so I'm going to tie that back up there. And we're going to bring this. This is some of that uh, backing paper that uh, Miss E from Scrapbooking With Me um, orders off of Amazon, I believe. And so I'm just going to stick that on there. If you haven't been over to Miss E's channel, um, do so. She has so many wonderful ideas, her and her daughter both. And she just recently had a real tragedy. Her husband passed away unexpectedly. Um, so I don't know that she's done too many new videos because she's just, you know, her whole life has been upended. And um, I feel bad for her. I can't imagine. Okay. Trim it down a little bit, bit in places where I... There. Okay. So now I have that part covered. Okay. That is going to be the pocket once I glue it down. So we're going to also cover this side because that is going to become another writing spot in our flip out here. So let's cover that. Um, I did sew, I think I sewed, or maybe I didn't, around the other one. You can do that if you'd like. You don't have to, but if you want, you certainly can. Okay. Am I in? Okay. <laughs> I am so bad at making sure. Oh, that isn't even going to fit there, Michael. Yeah, well, okay. So when you put this down, make sure that you're not um, putting it right in the crease. Because if you do, then you're going to have a hard time trying to um, close it. So let's see if that's going to work. Yeah, that's pretty good there. I think. Okay, so write that down. Okay. Maybe I can get rid of that. And I'm just going to trim this off then. And that's not okay. All right, I think I'm going to wait to put the pocket in until last. So, what I'm going to do now is do a little bit of um, collage and First thing I gotta do is find something to collage with. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a little piece off the. We could just. You know, put that down there right away. That'll, um, I think, however, I am going to tear these edges. That is, if I can grab it in order to do that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, see, that's the other thing I forgot. Ugh, always forgetting something. I sit down and I go. I think, oh, I've got everything. I've got everything I need. And then come to find out, I don't. 
So, excuse me while I try and get out of this tight spot and go get my ink. Whoop. So, now that I have this ink, I'm so sorry that took longer than I wanted it to. All right, we're going to do this and just ink these edges up a little bit here. Set that aside over there. And then I am going to put that on there. You would have thought I could have grabbed my glue book when I was up, but I didn't. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, okay. Move this aside. And hopefully I'm... there and let's see what else we can do hmm I'm trying to make a decision about what I'm going to put in the in the window uh, on my tag I'm thinking I might do that, so I am going to mark this piece of paper so I know not to use that part. <laughs> um, okay, so how about Okay, so I'm going to cut this, which is really not the best thing for me to do because if I can find my mark where I just put it, there it is. Probably got my head in there. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. <laughs> okay. Again, this is just such a pretty paper. Okay. Now, I think I want it to go this way, so or do I want it to go this way? No, I don't want it to go that way, but it could go this way. But then the music would be upside down, right? I don't know. Okay, we're just going to put it this way. So I'm going to tear this bottom, because that's what's going to be by the window. Okay. And then I'm going to ink that up a little bit. Rest of it will get inked up when we actually. Actually, I want this flower in there, but then that. Looking at this writing up there and it would be upside down if I did it the other way so we're gonna do it this way oh my goodness Michael make up your mind <laughs> see I collage always takes me so much time 
because I'm just not very good at it. I don't know why. Just not. Okay. I think it's something you have to um, not think about too much, and that's not me. I usually think too much about everything. So, okay. So I'm going to stick that like that. However, I want these pretty flowers showing. So whatever I'm going to put down underneath that, I um, want to put down now. So I kind of like this little strip here. So straight I'm going to use my cutter and I think I want to put this down here off because I'm going to take this little piece hopefully it'll fit in there okay come on I have to excuse myself. I know that I um, I sniff a lot. I have a very runny nose all the time, and I apologize for that. Most of the time, I don't even know I'm doing it. So I really do apologize for that. And the fact that I do a lot of sighing, too. And that doesn't mean that I'm bored or disgusted or whatever. <laughs> Believe it or not... It is a trait. It is a family trait. I know you probably never heard of such a thing, but it's true. Um, my father did it. Um, and it could be just habit from, you know, I don't know. But um, my father did it. Uh, my children do it. My grandchildren do it. So it's kind of strange, I know. And I apologize for that. It's not that I'm upset about anything or it's just me. <laughs> it's not a nice trait to have. But I've, I've, <sighs> there go the dogs. Um, I've, I've tried working on it and I think, you know, it has gotten a little better, but I still struggle. I still struggle. It just is an involuntary type thing, I think. So if it bothers you, I'm so sorry. I will try to do better, but I've been on this earth 69 years and I haven't figured it out yet. So <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to at this stage of the game. Okay, so I am going to put that there. Um,
And again, don't put your paper right up to that fold because it would make it difficult for the for the piece to fold back. So you want to leave some space there. So there we go for that. I'm going to cut this off now. There we go. And why is it glue is always on my hands? So this is going to go over like this. Okay, now we need one more piece here and I'm trying to decide what I want there. If I should do another piece of this, I'm thinking maybe. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it here. Okay. And I'm also going to put that under there. So, eh, once you know it, I cut it just a little bit too short. Way to go, Michael. <laughs> I love admonishing myself. That's also a part of my personality. Okay. Yeah, that'll be better. So I will tear the edges off here. And here. All right. And ink. This is why I have glue all over myself all the time. My daughter does my nails and she always goes, Mom, you've got glue on your fingers. No wonder. <laughs> and I'm always like, yeah, well, that's what happens when you craft. I put my head down there to see. This needs to come down just a tish. This right here, I think, to make this not look quite so straight, I'm going to actually um, tear it off at an angle. Okay. Well, that was dumb. Okay, well, it's going to be what it's going to be, so, okay. So, we have about two weeks before my husband and I leave for Arizona for the winter. Aaron is going to be coming tomorrow to help me try and figure out how I'm going to get all these crafting supplies into the trailer. <laughs> I think it's going to be a disaster trying to figure that out. But And the more time that goes by, the more nervous and panicked I get. I will still be doing, you know, 
all kinds of things with e papery but I will be doing it from Arizona in the warm weather. We haven't been able to travel since COVID started. So my husband's health went downhill after COVID. And uh, so, okay. So there's that, the front. Now, what did I do with my piece that I here? Okay, so this is going to be get glued in here to form the pocket. And what I'm going to do is I really don't want this this kind of edge thing to or this to look so stark black and white. I'm gonna put just a little bit of ink there. I don't know how much that's gonna work, but all right. Um, needs a little bit more down here. Okay, so we are going to put just with a very small bead of glue, we are going to put that down. And I think I'm going to do it this way so that, and again, I don't want it too close to the edge of the where the fold is, otherwise we won't be able to get this to fold. And we want to do it as thin as possible so that we actually have room to put a tag in there, which okay. And now, let's make it try and fit in there. And lost my card again. Hard to seen better days. Okay. Get some of the excess glue here. Okay. Now that was a little bit too tall, so we'll kind of cut that off a little bit. There. Okay. So here we go. So now I think I'm going to take an ink around this. Let's put this up here where it's not going to. to refill my ink again here. Okay, I don't need to do the back. This has got a little bit here that needs to be cut off. Okay. Okay. 
We're getting there. <laughs> So we have it all inked. So now what we're going to do is take a little bit of cardboard and see if this is going to fit in there. It's just a little bit too tight. So we're going to take an just take and put a little bit off of there. Okay. Now let's see. I am going to. I am going to round the bottom corners here. Okay. And see if that helps it a little bit. Well, it's, it's going in there, but it's still kind of... Yep. Come on, what the heck? Okay. Bone folder. glue kind of spread out I think more than I wanted it to so that's what the problem is so we're gonna have to might be better to just my scissors are longer so no, it's still not long enough. well let's see something it's sticking to something in there and I'm not sure what it is Easier. I'm just going to take a little bit more off. <laughs> Isn't that, you know, that's one thing about crafting. There's always a, a way to fix things. Okay. Now, hopefully this will go in there better than it did. There. That's much better. There we go. There we go. I'm going to leave it out just a tish so that we can put something. Okay, so now I need to put the piece on there that I wanted. At least I think I wanted. Sorry. have a portion up here that's not going to be or I could consider doing this part I guess 
didn't have the rose up at the top, but that's not going to leave us anything to see through the window. <laughs> so, hmm, let me see what else I may want to do. I want to kind of see where that would land. It's, all that's going to show is the... Okay, I think I'm going back to this one. I'm going to do this. And then I'll have to add something to the top, which we can always, you know, put a piece of lace or something over where I... Have to piece it. Okay, oh, cut the butterfly in half. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Well, because I had to cut that down, that's not right either, is it? Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is glue that on there. What did I do with my pocket? There it is. I'm like, okay. I'll put that there because I want to know approximately where that's going to show. So, okay. So, if I put it down there, right to the edge, we should be okay. And I'll show at least part of the. Uh, that's on there, Crooked Michael. There. Come on. Okay. And we're going to cut off the excess here. Some are going to say, why didn't you wait to do the corners until after you put the paper on. Well, because I wanted to test it, and I thought that rounded corners would make it easier. So, and if I try and cut the corners now, it's wet, so it's not going to work. Okay, come on. <laughs> I have a string on my scissors so that when I'm working, I can just hang them around my neck. Of course, then I always end up poking myself. And my kids laugh at me. <laughs> the grad kids go, Grandma. But otherwise, I lose them all the time. And then I'm going, running around going, what did I do with my scissors? And they fall down the cracks in the couch or... <laughs> oh, they are going to miss me. Yes, they are. They don't think they are. No, <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> Okay, what are we going to put on the top here? Well, that would be upside down, but... Oh, it's not going to be enough to make a difference, so... I'm going to tear that's tear the edges on this and do it that way. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is taking forever. Okay. So I want it to go like this. 
because I'm going to end up cutting this down as a tag anyway, so it's not really going to sure that I will do a little bit more decorating on this but I am not really going to do that on this video because otherwise it'll be so long okay so one last thing we need to do here and that is to put a backing on we can't just use this. You could still write on this. It's light enough. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Oop, maybe we should take the cover off the glue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Help me. Oops, and now I'm shaking the table. Okay, I'm, that would be just so sad. Okay. Okay. So now we have... See, I didn't put the scissors around my neck and I lost them. Okay, um, okay so that's pretty much it, except make it into a tag shape, which when I do that, I'm going to cut off some of my rows, but oh well. Um, Aaron and her son, my grandson Edwin, are going to come with us down to Arizona to help us get settled in. Because my husband is not really able to do that anymore, putting up the RV in which is why we now have um, procured a spot where we can leave the RV all year long. And uh, that way, if we want to come back in the summertime, which I'm sure we will, then we can just travel back by car and not have to haul a 40-foot RV, which is what we have. And that way I don't have to worry about my husband having to deal with blown tires and things like that because um, he's just not able to do that anymore. So if any of you live in Arizona, <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to be all by myself not having any we're going to Yuma, which we are familiar with because we've stayed there before. But all of the friends and whatnot that we had in Yuma before have now um, sold their spots and whatnot since COVID. And so they don't go back anymore. So I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can't find some people that are into journaling or card making or something so that I can have somebody to spend some time with. Okay, come on. There. 
Okay, so there it is. That is going to tick off, what did I say? Using a window envelope, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, decorate by doing collage, I did that one. Repurpose something. Uh, make a belly band with a flip page layout, okay. Make something with a secret writing spot. Um, and use junk mail, not an envelope. Well, I did that on my other thing I showed you. So there it is. And um, I guess that's the end of the um, 31 Junktober challenge. I got quite a few of them done, but I didn't get all 31 of them done. <laughs> if you did, let us know that. Um, and please share um, your items that you made with us on our social media. And then uh, I'm sure that Aaron will be coming on soon to let you know about um, the drawing. So that is all for today. And I thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it, and I know Aaron does too. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.